right so grids i love grids in canva so i'm gonna just go for um an insta Instagram sized template. So I'm using the search bar just to find an Instagram sized template. It gives you the option to use a template here or to use one of your own templates that you've created yourself. Um, but what I'm actually wanting to do is find a blank one. So I'm going to click on create a design here and go to Instagram post. So now it just gives me the 1080 by 1080 square that we use in Instagram. Over here on the left, we have the elements section. This is where everything is stored in Canva. And I'm gonna type in grid, just a simple word grid, that's my keyword. It brings up these. So anything you see in Canva that has green hills, blue sky, white fluffy cloud, you can add a color into, you can add a photo into, you can add a video into, they're quite versatile. It starts with one, so one grid on its own, and then each uh, template, you get more and more in different shapes. So if I go down to something like, uh, what's a nice one to use? That's quite a nice one. I click on it, it puts it straight into my template for me as it does with any element, image, font, anything that you're doing, you click on it, it puts it straight into your template. Now, I quite like these to have a border, so I'm dragging the corner in slightly to make it smaller, and I'm gonna use the two pink lines to centralize it. Now I've got a grid ready to add into um, my content. So I'm gonna go up to my photo section, and I'm going to add some photos into. I could click uploads and upload my own graphics, but I'm gonna use Canva's photo section for this today. So I, for example, I could search for people, business, flat lays, anything to do with your business, pop it into the search bar at the top. They are your keywords. They will find images that match them. Um, but I'm gonna use some of the ones that are already there. So it pops it into the middle of my template. And then as you can see in the background, if I drag it around, it resizes it to fit. I'm gonna pop that one in there. Um, I'm going to pop that one in there, that can go there, just add some photos in and I will show you a couple of things you can do with the photos as well. Um, let's go for, oh that's a cool one up there. So now I've got images in all of the spaces. Now, if I just bring this design in, you can see this one here is cutting the man's head off. Now, we don't really want that. We want to be able to move these photos. So if I double click on the image, it then shows me the full size of the image within the frame. I can drag this up and down so I can now place the focal point right in the center where I want it. Click off of it or click done in the top corner and it's moved your photo for you. You can do that with all photos in Canva. So I could leave it as is because I have got literally in 10 seconds <clears throat> a grid with all of my images added into and it looks nice. But if I wanted to change the background, I can click on the background. I can click on background color and then it brings up all of my colors here, including colors from the photos. So I could select a, a nice color from one of the photos and it would change it for me. So it's keeping it in keeping with the imagery. Um, but I could also think to myself, I'd like to add my business name into this, but it's full of photos or product name or some information about something that's going on in this post. But I've got a lot of images here. Where can I add some information? Now we can do that by clicking on one of the sections. They're all individual going over to this block here and changing the color to match the background color. Then it gives you this lovely space to write any information that you want in this space. You can do this with any of them. You can add an image back in again if you wanted to. It's still there. 
it's just um you've just changed it to match your background color so it looks like it's disappeared so i can now add some text in how do i add text there's a shortcut for this the letter t on your keyboard will bring up a paragraph box for you which you can drag around you can do as you wish as mentioned previously double click and you can type direct into it i will just put my name and then i've got a lovely text box which i can make bigger or smaller by using the the side arrow the side white lines and i can drag it into that space that i've now created i can go up to here the text color and i can change it to white because i've added a really dark background and I can also change my font by clicking on the font box. And as mentioned, it has my branding font. So I can now change it to any of my branding fonts. Um, I can add another text box by pressing T. And you'll notice that the font in the new text box is the same as what is in the box that's already on the template. They do that on purpose so that you can keep it consistent. So I can now add um, another text box underneath with some more information if I wanted to. <clears throat> I can change the sizing of it so it fits within my box. And again, I can change the color to suit. So you start to build very, very quickly a really lovely looking post with all of your imagery. You can add videos into this as well, which you can upload using the upload section. You can upload a video videos and you have the option of adding audio into your designs as well you can then color one of the boxes to suit the background and then on top of that you can add your text and then you can create whatever you want in canva so it's a very lovely way of creating a quick graphic that looks good and is consistent with your branding